If you're running a Pinterest account for your website and not getting the results that you want, I'm going to show you the secret that's going to help you take that uh, Pinterest strategy basically from zero to 60 in no time. So let's jump right in here. I've just pulled up a random you know, recipes uh, account here on Pinterest. This is like what most people are doing you know, with their Pinterest sites. They've got the one recipe site here. Then we see their boards that they've created are, you know, salad, pasta recipes, chicken parm, pork chop, you know, basically they have created their boards and broken them down by niche so that all of the recipes are themed together on these boards. Now, this is the old way of doing Pinterest. Yes, you can still do it this way and see some success, but if you really want to see those big numbers, especially if we're closing in on Q4, like we are right when I'm recording this, uh, then you're going to want to focus on doing things the new way. So the new way is multiple accounts for your website. So we're not going to do something, you know, like the example that I found over here, this simple recipes one. Uh, instead, we're going to create multiple accounts for our website. Uh, so instead of having, you know, the, the boards that are niched down under the umbrella of recipes, we're going to have one account for, say, just chicken recipes, uh, one account for just dinner recipes, one account for just pasta recipes, and so on, you know. Uh, of course, you know, make that relevant for whatever your site is about. Um, so we're going to basically, instead of having one main account, we're going to have themed or niched down accounts, which is going to be multiple accounts. Now, yes, by doing this, you're only going to have, you know, be able to claim your website on the, the main account that you have. That's fine because you're going to enable rich pins. Um, so it's going to be fine for the other accounts that you create. Now, I don't know how other people are doing this. What I am doing is I'm using uh, a different email address for every account. Uh, I'm also using an anti-detect browser so that I'm not triggering any spam filters with Pinterest. Uh, and honestly, I think this is the best way to manage this. I'm going to show you the two anti-detect browsers that I use and recommend uh, and show you how you use them. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you, it's called uh, Multi-Login. Uh, this one is the one that I think is probably going to be best for most people because it is the cheaper option. Um, so once you sign up for this, you're, you're going to get this dashboard here. Uh, and you can see I just have a dummy account in here right now for Facebook, uh, basically for things where we manage Facebook accounts for some of our clients at GrowthCupid. You're just going to want to click on Create. You're going to want to name the profile. So since you're going to be managing multiple accounts, you're going to want them each to have their own IP address so that you know they're not actually linked together and you get you know you trigger any kind of spam filters. Uh, so what I prefer to do is name the profile uh, both by location as well as what it is for. Um, but for just this example, we're just going to name something like Pinterest one. Uh, then we don't need any pre-made cookies. Uh, we could if we wanted, like we could go ahead and put Pinterest in here. I, but we'd have to connect to the agent. But do know that when you are using this, if you do use this particular tool, uh, you can have this set up so that it automatically opens with Pinterest. Just going to use the multi-login proxy. Uh, that's what I use. Uh, you can get your own proxies if you want. That's really up to you. Keep it as residential. And then for location, you can select whatever location you want Pinterest to see. Uh, obviously, I'm in the US, so that's what I would start typing in here. Then you click United States. Now we can go even deeper. If we want, we can select the actual state and city that we want. Let's say I want Phoenix. Uh, Chandler, close enough. And uh, we want to keep the IP for as long as possible, right? We'll check that proxy. Uh, it looks like I'm actually going to have to download because I don't have it on this computer, so we're not going to actually do that here. Um, traffic saver. This is not something that you're going to want to turn on. Uh, when I was first testing uh, this particular uh, anti-detect browser, you know, I was doing this and I was like, why is every time I open this up, like the images aren't showing up? That's what Traffic Saver does because you do get a limited amount of traffic each month and then you have to you know, pay for extra. Uh, so here's where we can change our, our, you know, our site that we go to. So we could just change that to Pinterest.com. Now, the great thing about an anti-detect browser is once you, you know, create your location and you log into your Pinterest account that you're going to use on that location, it usually just stays logged in for you. So you're not having to continually you know, log back in. So we'll use that for day on every start. Uh, you can put tags here if you want. Like I said, you know, I, I use these tools for primarily agency work. 
Uh, so I am, you know, creating tags and stuff like that. If you're just using this to manage, you know, maybe five or 10 Pinterest accounts, you're not probably gonna wanna make use of that. Uh, I am on a Mac. I don't remember which browser I prefer, so we'll just leave that as is. Storage local. Looks like everything here is looking good. Um, I don't know if this will actually uh, launch on my computer here or not, my laptop that I'm recording on because I do have it on my desktop Mac Mini. Let's click start and see what happens. So I will have to install this. Just make sure that you're keeping track, uh, you know, of which location and which profile you're using for which, uh, you know, ever account that you have created because you don't want to mix those up log into the wrong one from the wrong location the wrong location because you don't want to trigger those spam profiles on Pinterest. Uh, the other anti-detect browser that I use, uh, it's called uh, Go Login. Looks like I forgot to log in here before we got started. Um, and you'll see that this one is the one that I use more often. You can see that I have named the profiles that I'm act actively using here uh, by location. Uh, you know, I have this in a spreadsheet as well for reference, but basically if I have this open, you know, and I know, oh, I need to work on the account that's, you know, in Little Rock, then I will click on that. Let's go ahead and click on this here and I'll show you. Actually, if I do that, you'll see what I'm working on. That's client work, so I can't do that. Let's actually make a new profile. This one is a little different from GoLogin. You don't get quite the same level of location selection. Uh, so we'll just name this uh, Pinterest one again I mean again I'm using the go login proxy I want my country to be the United States um, and then when you click check proxy here it's going to go ahead and give you a location if you don't like the location you can pick another one so it has given me Charleston South Carolina uh, I'm fine with that obviously because I'm just you know doing this as an example for you but if you were doing this and you already were using Charleston for one of your other Pinterest accounts you'd want to you know click this little refresh button here I'm pretty sure that's what changes it, or maybe not. No, I'm sorry. The change proxy button here, it'll change location for you. So now we're in Fort Worth. So if you weren't using Fort Worth already, you could go ahead and use that. We just click create profile here. And that's going to go ahead and get that all set up for you. You can see that it's still working right here. Uh, now once it's ready, we just click run. And it's going to download this particular new browser profile and set it up so they can open it up in the browser that comes, you know, with, you know, the account that you are paying for. It may already be open down here. Looks like it is not. Let me see what happens if I click view. Okay, so it's going to open it up within Chrome. Uh, if yours does this, don't worry. It will still work just fine. Uh, usually, though, you know, you, you download basically the actual anti-detect browser component of it separately. And when you click run, it will open it up in a new window for you, but this would work just fine. So then, you know, we would just go to Pinterest, get this actually in here, if I can spell it. And basically this is just like a clean profile that you would use just for this specific, you know, Pinterest account that you have connected to. I think it was Fort Worth we had selected. Once you log in, like I said, it'll, it'll keep your login for you so you won't have to be logging in again. You do whatever you want to do for your new pin on this account, then you just close it out. Uh, you'll see that this ends up closing here. Usually it does it by itself. I know when I'm using the actual separate browser, but maybe it doesn't when it's in Chrome. Just click stop. You notice it says it's syncing. That's because it's saving whatever you've done. Uh, just let that finish up. It doesn't usually take too long. Looks like it's taking a little longer than normal. Okay, so now we're making our second Pinterest account, right? Again, same, same process. So we just click in here, Pinterest 2, which I'm pretty sure I already spelled that wrong, but you know, you get, the, you get the gist. United States, check proxy, make sure it's not the same location. This one's Jacksonville, so I click Create Profile. Now I've got, you know, a, a Jacksonville-based IP address for my second Pinterest account. So that's the way you're going to want to create these accounts so that you can log into multiple accounts, like I said, and not trigger that spam filter. Uh, and real quick here, I'm trying to keep this video super short. Um, I wanna show you the pricing differences between these two tools. Uh, you get a discount on both of them if you go yearly. Uh, I don't know if you wanna do that or not, so I'm just showing you the monthly fee. Now, multi-login here, you can actually try for three days for only two euros. Uh, it lets you create up to five browser profiles. Once those three days are up, you have to upgrade or just cancel. Um, nine euros a month will get you 10 browser profiles. So that's gonna be 10 different, you know, uh, IP addresses that you can use for your Pinterest accounts. Now, most people are, 
only doing about five Pinterest accounts. Uh, maybe if you have a large site covering a lot of niches, you might want 10 or more. Uh, but I think for the most part, this is going to be the cheapest option for most people. Uh, the one that I use the most, just because of agency work, like I said, uh, is Go Login. You can try any of these plans for free on here, so you don't have to pay to do that. Uh, you are charged in USD on this one, which is different. The other one does charge you in euros. Um, let's see here, to so $49 a month, you can do up to 100 profiles. Um, that honestly is why I prefer using this one over the other one for agency work because it lets me, you know, manage social media for so many more clients for the money. Um, but it's really up to you, whichever one you want to use. I'll leave links for both of them down below. You can check them out. Um, one thing that I have noticed in my testing and using of both of these, because I do have active accounts on both, is that multi-login, um, it seems to be a bit slower, you know, when it opens up. Like I said, I wish I had installed this so that I could show you. Uh, let's see if I can get it installed really quick. Uh, I don't actually know. I think this is an M-Series Mac. So we'll get this installed real quick here, and I'll just go ahead and pause the video so that I can uh, show you what this looks like. Okay, so that should be installed now. Let's see if it works. Uh, this is normally what happens, like I said, also with Go Login. I, I have a separate thing for this as well. Um, and I find uh, working in the in the, you know within Chrome within the cloud browser tab uh, is slower for both of these. Quite honestly, um, for both of those, you're gonna want to make sure that you know you are you know launching this you know separate browser to work from because it, it will be faster. Period. But like I said, in my testing of both of these, even when launching this separate browser. Uh, Go login does, I mean, I'm sorry, multi login does seem to run just a little bit slower. I mean, you can see right here as it's trying to load, you know, it, it's working just a little slower. And, you know, the num depending on the number of accounts that you're managing and what kind of time on your hands that you have, to, you know, to actually devote to doing this, um, you know, is the cost saving, you know, of, of this one being, you know, just a little bit cheaper going to be worth it for you? Now, for me, it was not, but I did want to show it to you you know, as a very affordable option uh, in case you are working on a budget here. And like I said, um, multi-login, go login, they both have these separate browsers. Um, let me pause the video real quick and I will install the go login one and I'll show you how that one looks as well. Okay, so I am logged in now and have launched the external browser uh, that's part of go login. Uh, you'll see all the same profiles that I already had shown you uh, within the actual app on Chrome. Uh, you can add a new profile here the exact same way that you do it on Chrome. I actually end up adding most of my profiles directly through here. Uh, we'll just click Run. It's going to check that proxy for us. It's going to open. Um, sometimes it will open over top. Okay, so it did today. Uh, it doesn't always, though. I'm not really sure why. So I'll show you how quickly this one loads. Of course, it's loading slow while I'm recording this. Just to make me look like an idiot, right? <laughs> uh, but like I said, I find that this one works overall in all the testing I've done. Like I said, a bit faster loading than what I get from the other one. Uh, but like I said, it's really up to you which one you want to use. These aren't the only two, you know, um, anti-detect browsers that exist. So you can do your own research, see if there's something that you like better. Uh, but for me, these are the ones that I use. Um, but do keep in mind that Go Login is a bit pricier than the other one. And basically, you know, as you are working on, you know, creating your multiple Pinterest accounts, just make sure that you are matching up the location to the right account so that, like I said, you don't accidentally log in to the wrong account uh, from the wrong location and get, you know, marked as spam and get your account shut down. Uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them in the comments below um, and I will answer them for you if I can. And if I do not know the answer, I will try to find it for you.